Welcome to a sad day in tennis spin, where we'll try to put our spin on your tennis today. My man Dan is beside himself right now. We have to bid adieu to our work wife, our best friend at the tennis shop here for the past two months. Um, unfortunately, this machine, the Bayardo Tune Pro, was on loan to us by Wilson, and it's time for us to send her to our next destination. So we've grown very, very attached to it. Um, Coach Dan is in here almost every day um, doing various things with it. Uh, we've shown you various videos on it. Uh, we're just very sad today. I don't really even feel like drinking coffee right now. Um, we, we have to pack her up right now and bid farewell to her. But we would like to ask your help um, as Dan, I don't know what Dan's going to do uh, without the Bayardo Tune Pro. So on my buy me a coffee forward slash tennis spin site, I'm going to add one of these machines to my wish list. So I ask that if you can help us out to get one of these, uh, please, please do so. So we can continue doing, you know, content for you on it and continue, you know, unsolving uh, or solving mysteries uh, about rackets. We can unsolve some things too, probably, but uh, this thing just does it all. So when Harry Harry got this in, I uh, I was so excited. I I actually uh, assembled it. There were some instructions. We learned how to use it. We've gone through. I've gone through, and probably tested and matched rackets and um, you know added weights and things. I've got a, a sticker on each of my rackets that shows uh, weight balance, swing weight, horizontal and vertical stiffness. So as I'm playing with the racket, I can actually look at the specs, all of the specs, and really understand. Um, what these rackets are doing and when I look at the numbers and being able to talk about what makes a racket good, what makes a racket play well, um, really, really understanding and it's taken a long time to kind of correlate what a racket feels like versus what the numbers say. You know, a lot of us started off going, oh, I want a racket that weighs, you know, doesn't weigh more than 330 grams strong, it'll be too heavy for me. And then we start getting smart and going, oh, what does swing weight mean? You know, that kind of correlates to power. Oh, well, but what about balance, you know? And then how do all those play together? And then we start looking at stiffness and going, wow, this one's too soft. This one feels great. So I'm kind of down to where after all that testing mm -hmm. over all these months to go, okay, what, where is there sort of an ideal set of specs that we can look at and help you think about a racket for you? Um, you know, you can read specs on websites. They're, they're more or less accurate, usually not that accurate. I mean, weight and things, but we take different rackets off the shelf, even the same size grip, same racket, everything, mm -hmm. and measure them. And they can be, some of the rackets are dramatically different. So when you're buying a racket, uh, you know, we, we take them off and, and, and match them and go, here's two, two match rackets. Uh, and so there's so much we can do with this. But I think in particular, when a new racket comes out, we can now put it on the machine, get all the specs for you, and tell you what this thing is going to be like um, and, and what kind of players might like it. So mm -hmm. this is a, a great um, tool for all of us. Yeah, this... Unlike a stringing machine, you don't really make your investment back. This is a, a great and a nice to have. Um, it makes, um, you know, our questions answerable and it makes your questions answerable and it, uns it, it solves a lot of mysteries in rackets. Look, let's be, <laughs> let's be, let's be fair. You can, you can get a scale and measure weight. Mm -hmm. You can get a swing weight machine, mm -hmm. which and we have a swing weight for, for less money. Um, this, this bad boy right here, this is where we measure vertical and horizontal stiffness. And that makes a huge difference to how a racket feels. And you can look on the website and they put a stiffness number, which may or may not be the same as we're getting off of this. Um, and we're getting the vertical and the horizontal. I've never seen anyone that publishes a vertical mm -hmm. stiffness on anything. So 
you know, between all these factors, uh, we're getting more information about a racket um, than you can get otherwise. And no, it's not cheap. Yeah. yeah. So if you are a fan of the channel, if you want to support me, getting me one of these will definitely help all of us. Um, I feel like this is a PBS pledge drive. <laughs> <laughs> so, and we're not going to stop until the we're, hour's up and the match is done. We're going to get four hungry, <laughs> pu underfed puppies and go, you know, if you want this puppy to survive, please pledge now. <laughs> but don't let it go, please. No. Um, guys, yeah, anything will help. Uh, we'll, we'll keep the page up and see what we get. So, but yeah, we would love to see one of these back and, and continue doing great content for you. So on buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin on my wish list will be one of these. All right. Thank you guys so, so much. Um, we and Dan, especially Dan, are bro <laughs> broken hearted, but um, hopefully not for long. All right. Thanks to you guys. Guys, thank you for watching. Tennis Spin, and thank you for your support. Bye, honey. It's been really good. I know. I have to take you apart. I feel so bad. I have to do this something. Like, no, not that part. It's a good piece. Okay. Got to send you home. i to figure out how to take it apart now. been a couple of months. Got to figure out where all this stuff goes. Nope. Look at that. Look at that. God, what a nice, what a nice coffin for my work wife. All right. Got it.